guys so today I'm doing a video that's a bit different from what I usually do I am going to talk about something that's quite important in my life and I actually changed my life like quite frankly I would not be doing this video right now if not for what I'm going to talk about today and what I'm going to talk about today is music and more specifically it's going to be Japanese music so I get questions very frequently from people asking me what kind of bands I like what kind of music I listen to so I started listening to Japanese music when I was 14 and I have never stopped the genre that I'm most interested in is called visual K even though it's such a broad term I don't really think it means much except that for me, there is both a research in the music and the visual of the bands and the musicians or whatever. Okay, so the first band I want to talk about today is The Gazette. So that's my favorite band, okay, of all time, of all time. I fucking love them. So what I really love about them is that they have such, such a clean, perfect music in my opinion. I think it's so rare to find groups that have such a good sort of polished, mature sound. Another thing I really like about them is that each and every one of their albums is different. It's like, it's still them, you can hear, you can recognize them very, very, very easily, but each of their albums is like a new experience and you can definitely see how they work, and how they try to improve and to experiment with different things, which um, I think it's a really big thing to do when you're an artist. You really want to, uh, you know, be in a constant evolution, but still be yourself. And when you manage to do that, that's pretty impressive. So I'm going to link a few of my favorite songs um, by them. And I'm just going to give you a small taste, ear taste, I suppose, of what it's like. <laughs> Okay, so I am probably gonna cry at the show with that song. Okay, next band I want to talk about is Rentre en Soi. Sorry, they're unfortunately not active anymore, but they're definitely one of my absolute, absolute favorite bands. And they're very different from the Gazette. If you like things that are a bit more um, quiet, a bit more eerie, a bit more mystical or whatever, they have such, such, such a good band. They have a very, very interesting sound in my opinion. And um, they're wonderful and brilliant mixture of what's violent in that kind of music and what's really really soft honestly i don't know if that makes sense to any of you but if my soul could be put into music i feel like this would probably what it would sound like oh my, my God, Another band that's a bit similar, I wouldn't say it's necessarily similar, but it's a bit more uh, as well. It's called Plastic Tree. I think they're very, 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 very interesting. I like them and I used to listen to them when I was much younger. Out of the three, this band that I'm going to talk about right now, Plastic Tree, is perhaps the most the easiest to get into if you're not into Japanese music because it's a bit more normal, I suppose. <laughs> It is all fully nostalgic. I can remember myself being 14 and listening to that perfectly. And another band that I really, really, really cannot not mention is called Manis and it's called Manis Miseru in Japanese. And okay, next to Gazette, it's probably my favorite band. They're old, they're very, very old, and they, they stopped being a thing. I think I don't even remember when it was a band from the 80s, 90s, so definitely an old band. If you want to know what Visual K really is, I think Madis is definitely the band you should check out because of their costume, their scenic performances when they were on stage, the decor, and just that dancing and everything was wonderful. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's really amazing. If you're not, it's just really strange. I have a variety of songs. Some are really nostalgic and really calm and quiet. Some are a bit more um, dynamic, I would say.
Another one is called Moi de Moi. I'm pronouncing it the French way, the correct way. It's a band that was created by the guitarist of Malice. So that explains why the gothic sort of sound or theme is quite present as well. That's very very specific, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea, but I do really 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 like them. Then another band that I saw live and they're just amazing, it's called Muck. Um, so this band is also a very interesting band and I think it's one of the easiest bands to get into as well. Their sound is definitely Japanese, but it's also a lot more influenced by everything that's happening in the world. So depending on the different albums, just like Gazette, you will get a different sort of vibe. Some are really like electro, a bit, some are a bit more acoustic, some are a bit more metal, metal, yeah, I suppose. And they're just amazing live. I've seen them twice live. They have such a good energy. <laughs> Okay, so if all of those bands that I mentioned previously are a bit too strange for you, I would definitely, but if you still want to get into Japanese music, please listen to Muk. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few songs that you're going to like. Then, obviously, I'm going to talk about Gact. Um, because Gact is Gact. Okay, the thing with Gact is I think he has definitely a great, very large variety of songs. Some are really catchy, some are a bit... I like them all, but some are a bit... Uh, how would I say? Some are a bit higher when it comes to like the musical quality of them, I'd say, and some are a bit more standard. Gact has such a very distinct voice. Either you like it or you don't. I love his voice. Okay, enough of Gact. Well, there's never really enough of him, but not a musician, that's not a band, um, but such, such, such a great musician. It's called Miyavi. He's amazing. He's amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone can love his music. So we've been through already quite a few bands. I think I'm gonna add two more. Okay, there is one that I quite like, it's called L'Arc-en-Ciel, which means rainbow in French. L'Arc-en-Ciel is quite a big band, but I've never been a big fan, but every time I listen to some of their songs, I'm like, ah, oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> And the last one is a bit more of an old band, it's called Bucktick, and I love them very, very much. I hope this was interesting, I hope this maybe opened up your horizon a little bit because I feel like your horizon a bit more because I feel like we only listen to, you know, what we are provided with and given to listen to. Japanese music to me has a richness and a depth that I cannot find anywhere else and for some people it just doesn't work. You know, many Japanese people it actually doesn't work at all but for me it fucking works. It's amazing. It makes me so happy and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys and if you're interested please let me know I could do a Korean um, video as well because I listen to Korean music as well and I hope to see you soon. Bye!